Note. The following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the battery, memory cover, optical drive, hard disk drive cover, hard disk drive assembly, and keyboard. Removal. Remove the two rubber feet from the front corners of the base enclosure. Remove the 12 6mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Remove the two 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws from the hard disk drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Remove the two 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws from the optical drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Turn the notebook over and open the display panel. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Carefully lift up on the edges of the top cover to detach it from the base enclosure. Remove the top cover. Replacement Note, before installing a new top cover, remove the following from the old top cover and install onto the new top cover. Power button board, card reader board, touchpad button board, Fingerprint Reader Board. Place the top cover into position on the base enclosure. Press down on the edges of the top cover until it snaps into place. Insert the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable into the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchpad button board ribbon cable into the touchpad button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the card reader board ribbon cable into the card reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Close the display panel and turn the notebook over. Replace the two 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws into the optical drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the two 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screws into the hard disk drive bay that secure the top cover to the base enclosure. Replace the 12 6mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top cover to the base enclosure.
Replace the two rubber feet into the front corners of the base enclosure.